How you doing folks, it's Joe Value here for Cold Beer Sports on Sunday evening with two selections for tomorrow on my YouTube channel and I should have one for my for the Patreon service as well uh, just much like today, just got to wait and see uh, how much rain to get over night it was important for uh, that winner today that I put up in Press of Lady uh, and you know tomorrow, uh, much, much the same story, just got to keep an eye on the weather uh, lovely to get that winner on the Patreon service. Uh, you know, a four point win, uh, as big as three to one uh, this morning. There was a slight rule four, but uh, she ended up even money. She was very heavily backed all throughout the morning and the afternoon. And uh, yeah, power through laid on as I expected her to. Uh, every drop of rain that fell was obviously a big help to her. Uh, you know, and the ground definitely went heavy. The Wakanda had soft uh, last night, yesterday, the Wakanda uh, was it? Good to soft, soft in places, but when I seen them changing it to soft early this morning and rain forecast all through the morning, I knew it would be very, very uh, tough going there at Exeter today, and that definitely uh, was right up her street. Good progressive mare, strong stair, knees heavy ground, or definitely soft ground anyway. So uh, nice to get the love there today with her. And uh, my one selection on the YouTube, uh, Jerry's back. Uh, don't know what the crack is with him. He's just a horse that has ability to win that type of race, but he always seems to put in that stupid mistake. And, um, you know, he's one that I probably won't be supporting anymore. But, uh, you know, it's hard to take him on as well because, you know, he has the ability to win, to be winning a race like that, as I said. But, uh, yeah, he's, he's risky. He's a risky proposition, and that's why we went just to one point on him. But, uh, obviously, nice to get the big fish and another successful day. So, <clears throat> moving on to tomorrow, I go start off, now there's plenty of rain around tomorrow, um, we, we're not 100% sure how much we're going to get, obviously, yet, but uh, I'm going to go f stick with Wolverhampton tomorrow uh, for, with my first selection, because obviously we know what we're going to get in Wolverhampton on the all-weather. It's horse by the name of Dark Esteem, uh, ridden by Laura Coglin tomorrow, takes off a handy five uh, for Roger Teal. The last time uh, Laura rode a winner was for Roger Peel, not that long ago. And the last time the Darkest Team won a race was off a mark of 63, which it is tomorrow. So the stars are aligning that way. Uh, Darkest Team likes Wolverhampton too. Uh, has to be held up. You'd be hoping for a strong pace tomorrow now. That's important because it can be a bit keen. But there's a good chance. There's a few drawn wider that like to push up. Uh, and get prominent early early doors. So the more that does that, the better for us. And you know, off a mark of sixty three here with Laura taking off five pounds next to the mark of fifty eight, obviously. And I think off that kind of mark, uh, this horse uh, Dark Esteem is more than capable of going close. So I don't like the price uh, six to one with a couple of firms, and then you know the Green Bookie goes seven to two. Like surprise, surprise, their worst price <laughs> with, with, a, with a horse that has a good chance. So anyway, uh, you know, I suppose if you got five to one tomorrow, you'd be happy enough, and we'll go over the point win there anyway. Um, and then my other selection runs in Plumpton, called uh, Gayo, or Gayosh, uh, runs in the four forty at Plumpton there, uh, for Kevin Brogham, Clement Tree for Harry Fry, JP McManus owns it. Runs off a mark of ninety eight tomorrow, so Kevin taking off three obviously makes it ninety five, and was touched off, off a similar mark in Newton Abbott last. Uh, summer but obviously given the ground good tomorrow uh, good to form or good to soft in places but also there's rain forecast so i don't know it, like this won its bumper uh in france before jp bought it on it officially described as heavy ground so if it did go soft that mightn't be much of a worry i like the fact that kevin's riding it as well he's a very very intelligent jockey uh, he'll keep it wide into the on poached ground that's you know that's probably one of the main reasons why he gets good good rides don't get me wrong but he's leading conditional uh, this season as well and i think that's one of the reasons he's a very intelligent jockey uh does most things right makes very uh, few mistakes and i think this gale can be definitely uh what would you say competitive of this in this type of race uh, as well i'd like to see a strong pace because this one can be a little bit uh, fresh in herself and uh, her jumping wasn't great last time but she did run really well the horse that won the race Amelia's dance has still gone on to run has since gone on to run really well 
in a deeper race. And this one, Gayot, despite a few bad mistakes, was still had enough ability to get into the race with a challenging position. Just faded a bit late on, but uh, definitely going to be competitive tomorrow, I would say. Uh, 100, priced up 130 generally, I think, in around 3 to 1, 130. And I'll go a point win on that as well. And a point each way double as well, the two of them. So that's uh, Dark Esteem in the 6 o'clock Wolverhampton. And Gayo, Gayosh, I think is the name of it. French name thing anyway. 440 at Plumpton. A uh, point win on that as well at 130. Uh, two nice chances there. And I think I'll have a winner on, on the Patreon service as well. So fingers crossed for that. Hopefully you got a few quid today. Um, yeah, I'm going to see how tomorrow goes. I, we're doing the podcast tomorrow, the Wheelbarrow podcast as far as I know. So that'll be up tomorrow night for you. Hope you enjoy that. Hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Until tomorrow, I'll talk to you. All the best. It's Joe Value for Cold Beer Sports. Bet safe and enjoy the sport. All the best.